All right, guys, welcome to one-to-one -one functions and onto functions. This is a, a, just a continuation of, of some interesting things we get out of certain types of functions that we see. Uh, in a one-to-one -one function, given any y value, there is only one x value. So meaning, if you have two elements in your domain that are not equal, then their outputs can't be equal. That's what this is really saying. Uh, and the idea here, in, in, in layman's terms, and that's hard for me to understand, is that, look, Every y is paired with only one x, okay? And it's got to be a different x. And we call this one-to-one -one or injective. So here's an example of a function that is one-to-one. -one. Notice that each, we have two sets, a to b, and b is our range, and a is our domain. So each y value is paired with only one x. So that's, look, four is paired with eight, 2 goes back to, is paired with 1, 5 is to 4, and 1 is to 7. Okay, this is a one-to-one -one function. It's injective. And you don't, this 8 is not in the, the range. That's okay. It, it, it can just be floating there. It doesn't matter. It doesn't pertain to this. It does affect if it's an onto function, but every, every value that's in our range is paired with 1x value. And we say that's one-to-one. -one. Something that's not one-to-one. -one is this one here where notice how 2 uh, it gets paired with 2 and 3 also so that'd be like saying when we talk about functions we talk about the birthday function you know every person has a birthday and birthdays can repeat okay and that's a function but to be a one-to-one -one function no person no different person could have the same birthday. Every person in the classroom would have to have a different birthday. That would be one-to-one. -one. If two people shared a birthday, that's okay because they're different people, but it wouldn't be a one-to-one -one function because they're paired with the same y value. So again, one-to-one -one functions, the y value can be paired with only one x value. Now, the, the informal definition of an onto function, all elements in B are used. That is, f of A equals f of B. So, oh, excuse me, f of A equals B. And this is what we call surjective. So, onto functions are surjective. In the first example, we saw 8 floating around, okay? And it, it wasn't paired with anything, and that was okay even to be 1 to 1. That's not okay in onto. Notice each one of these values is paired with... Uh, has something it's being paired from. So notice here, h goes to 2, q goes to 2. That's okay. Every element in b is used. That means something from a goes to it. So even though 2 has unique inputs, it has two different inputs, h and q, that's fine. This is still an on to function because every y value is paired with an x. Now, something that's not on 2, notice how in this one, 1 and 8 have no pairing. So 4, 2, and 5 have a pairing with R, H, and Q respectively, but 8 and 1 are just hanging out. They have nothing being paired with it. That's not an on 2 function. So you just have to be careful, okay? This is an on 2 function, but since, has, since 2 has two different pairings, it wouldn't be 1 to 1, okay? This is a not an on 2 function because 8 and 1 are not paired with anything, okay? So let's look at some examples where we're trying to figure out if functions are on to and one to one. So is the function f of x equals 3x minus 4 on to, or is it one to one? Now this is a linear equation, 3x minus 4, so I've graphed it here. Now, you should know by now, linear equations never have y values that repeat. So I'm going to know automatically linear equations are on to, or, or one to one functions. On to functions. Well, the domain and range of linear equations are all real numbers for both domain and range. So every y is going to be paired with an x. So this function is both one to one and on to. And we call that a bijection when you're both one to one and on to. So again, every y value is used. There's your on to function. Each y value is paired with only one x, a different x. There's your one to one definition. Now I threw up a parabola here in example two. Is the function g of x equals x squared minus two one to one? Is it on to? So I plot my function 
here, and I notice that two different elements have the same y value, and that's not cool. If f of 2 equals 2 and f of negative 2 also equals 2. So the same y value is paired with two different x's. That's a problem for 1 to 1. This function is not 1 to 1. So not all y values are being used here. Think about the range. You're going from negative 2 to infinity on the range. All y values aren't being used. So this function is not on 2. So it's neither, okay? So you can pretty much guarantee that quadratic functions are not going to be one-to-one. -one. Linear functions are always going to be bijections. They're going to be both one-to-one -one and onto. So let's look at one more example of an absolute value. Absolute value has that V-shape just like the parabola. So you can say, well, it's V-shaped similar to a parabola. So then it's not going to be one-to-one. -one. And if you ask that, if you said that, you're right. This is, is this function one-to-one -one over the real numbers? It's not. Because notice, 1 and 3, two different x's, get paired with the same y value, and that can't happen in a 1 to 1 function. This function, again, is also not onto because all the y values are not being used. It's only from 0 to infinity, so all the y values don't work. Okay, So that's a quick definition or quick overview of what a 1 to 1 function is and an onto function. Okay, Remember, some couple things to close, linear functions are both. We call that a bijection when you're one to one and on to. Okay, quadratics are not going to be one to one and they're most likely they're not going to be on to because you're not going to use all the values in the, uh, all the y values are not going to be used. Okay, questions or comments, please email me uh, at nicholas.bennett at dc.gov or you can just comment below. Thanks guys.